guys, it's Will here from WTF Car Reviews and today we got a treat here. So we have this 2016 Lexus RCF with a performance package. So for those of you guys who don't know, Lexus released this RCF in 2014 and it's basically been their performance coupe model. And uh, so it uses a five liter V8 engine, which makes 472 horsepower and 395 pound feet of torque. And it's a very powerful motor. It gets this vehicle to 60 in about four seconds, maybe a little bit quicker depending on your traction. Uh, but all in all, take a look at this exterior styling. But all in all, very impressive styling. This vehicle does have the performance package, which includes your carbon fiber roof and carbon fiber automatic deploying spoiler. It deploys based on what speed you're going and you can also manually deploy it if you would like. Uh, but all in all, let's continue alongside. Very nice wheel design as well. And if you can notice over there too, you got multiple piston Brembo brakes in the rear. So this vehicle is gonna have very good stopping capabilities matched with these Michelin Pilot Sport tires. But anyway, let's wrap up this brief little walk around and come out to the front where you're gonna notice your very nicely designed LED headlights up front. Um, and you also have a nice daytime running light underneath. And a lot of people may not like this design, but I personally find it very unique and it definitely distinguishes this vehicle to the other vehicles on the road. Uh, come along down, you have very nice heat extraction. This is funneled along to the side and also gets to your brakes and you have a nice brake duct over here as well. So overall, keep these really large six piston Brembo calipers up front, nice and cool, which this vehicle could definitely use on a nice track day or spirited drive. And as you guys can see, uh, you do have parking sensors over here in the front, as well as parking sensors in the rear. Very nice features to have for a pretty expensive premium sports car. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if you guys can pick it up through the camera, but this paint, it's really nice white color. It's a nice metallic color. It's not a refrigerator white, very, very beautiful white color. But anyway, as we come along over here, you can see this particular owner has chosen to swap out his regular chrome decal with this aftermarket carbon fiber decal. A uh, very nice look, it definitely blends with this nice black, gloss black grill very well. But anyway, we can step back and take a look at this overall, love it or hate it, Lexus design. But coming down over here, you have a very nice splitter. It integrates with your overall front end very well, and it's gonna do a really good job funneling air into your ducts as well as your overall grill to feed air into your radiator as well as your hood to keep your engine nice and cool and as the air is getting funneled in as you guys can notice over here you have a really nice functional heat extractor over here as well so it'll keep the engine really cool and it's a really nice overall design as well uh, but anyway you come along to the side over here but anyway check these out so these are beautiful forged rims wrapped in 255 zr 19 michelin pilot super sport tires so some of the best tires in the business uh, with some really really beautiful rim designs uh, and if you guys can notice inside over there you got some absolutely massive massive slotted rotors with really really large six piston brembo brake calipers so it'll be really interesting to see how this vehicle can stop on the road uh, but anyway let's come alongside over here you got a really nice distinguishing F badge with more heat extraction coming along over side over here. Uh, so match with the air coming in from the front. It's gonna be nice to have air extraction over here on the side. Uh, but anyway, we come alongside this particular vehicle does have tints in the front, very nice. And as we already mentioned, you got your carbon fiber roof, uh, which is a very expensive option, but it's really nice to have because it does lower your center of gravity. So it will overall help your handling and match with these tints and this white color. It provides a really, really beautiful overall contrast uh, but anyway let's come along back uh, so you have the same rims back here uh, however you do have a wider set of tires so back here the tire dimensions are 275 35 zr 19s uh, you still have slotted uh, rotors back here they're not going to be as large as they are on the front uh, neither are the calipers but it's still impressive that these rotors are as large as they are and this is a multiple piston Brembo brake calipers. So these brakes, are they're larger than a lot of vehicles have in the front. So even some sport oriented vehicles don't have front brakes as large as this vehicle's rear brakes. So again, it'll be really interesting to see how well this vehicle can really stop on the road. Uh, but come up over here. Uh, I really like the way that this rear end flares out. The vehicle does have some super nice hips. And overall, from a styling standpoint, this vehicle is absolutely wonderful. And over here as well, you can definitely see a nice flare. So great design. As we mentioned, you do have parking sensors over here in the rear and a nice little Lexus illumination on top of your bumper. Um, but I haven't mentioned this. So this vehicle also has a Meister shaft exhaust. So this car sounds absolutely incredible. Uh, we're going to start up in one minute and give you guys a nice little sound clip on this Lexus RCF. Uh, but anyway, let's do exactly that. So let's start this vehicle up and hear how she sounds.
right guys, so that was of course the sound of this Lexus 5 liter V8 with this Meister shaft exhaust and it sounds absolutely glorious. But anyway, let's take a look at this motor and uh, see what we got. So it's nice that we have struts on this really expensive, well not really expensive, but fairly expensive sports car. Uh, the battery is located on the passenger side, very nice touch. Uh, you have really nice strut tower braces over here, which will definitely help your handling. And uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but we also have a really nice cold air intake with carbon fiber tubing and a really nice intake plenum, which is blue. Uh, so this vehicle is not blue, but this is the same exact blue that comes on, the leg, a, lot, on a lot of ISF and uh, RCF models. So it's a really signature design for the F trims, and it's nice that they gave you this blue for the intake plenum. Um, but overall, really nice like engine bay. Definitely impressed with this motor. Definitely impressed with the bracing supports and this overall intake setup. So. Overall, very impressive. This is made by r and Racing. But anyway, let's shut this hood up. Take one last step back. And let's check out the interior on this 2016 Lexus RCF. All right, so before we step into this RCF, I'm just gonna show you guys these mirrors. Uh, so you do have blind spot monitoring. Uh, however, these mirrors they do not take up the whole frame. Uh, but not a big deal since you have blind spot monitoring you'll definitely see and be aware of all the vehicles on the road so pretty nice but let's step inside so first thing you notice when you step inside uh, you do have soft touch materials over here for your arm wheel rest definitely a premium touch and you do have uh, three person memory seats uh, so of course you have a really nice aluminum door handle with carbon fiber trim that comes on your lexus rcf uh, so over here where your arm will often rest it's going to be completely suede alcantara uh, with more leather trim over here which is very softly padded and it is red so very nice styling i like the red and black contrast uh, with carbon fiber up here so you also have power one touch windows for the front so nice features to have power lock and unlock with your mirror controls and your very nice mark levinson sound system so this vehicle has an absolutely unbelievable sound system. But let's check out these seats. So they're completely red on the inside. On the outside, they're gonna be black. Uh, so very nice design. Uh, they hold up very well considering this is a 2016 car. Uh, you do have little slots over here where you can put some harnesses if you want to. Uh, so very aggressive seat design. Uh, these bolsters are also very aggressive, but I'm six foot, 185 pounds. Um, these bolsters aren't too aggressive for me. So if you're a little bit larger than me, uh, I wouldn't be worried. You could definitely fit in these seats very comfortably. But anyway, Let's step inside this RCF. It's nice that you have a nice aluminum Lexus nameplate down here, uh, but let's step inside. Nice, so first thing you notice is the steering wheel. So you're gonna have very, very high quality leather. Uh, it is perforated too, very thick design, and it's very soft up here too, so it's very pleasing to touch. Uh, you have very, very aggressive uh, bolstering extensions over here for your 10 and two slots, and you have very nice nine and three slots for your hands. Uh, you don't have a flat bottom steering wheel, uh, but not a big deal. The steering wheel itself is very, very nice to hold. Uh, you don't have a spoke down here for your hands, but not really expected for a sports car. Uh, but anyway, of course, you have your volume controls, you have your media controls, uh, you have your infotainment setup controls as well. You also have your front collision assist, and behind the steering wheel, you have your pretty high quality, uh, high quality plastic paddle shifters. Um, it would be nice if they were aluminum, but they look like they're aluminum, and they do feel like a much higher quality material than 99% of paddle shifters. Uh, but anyway, let's continue over here. It's a really nice analog clock. Uh, you have really nice suede Alcantara above your dashboard. Uh, and even behind the dashboard for the frame, you have soft touch materials. So Lexus definitely did not cheapen out when it came to materials over here. Uh, down here, you have your odometer settings. You can open and close. I mean, not open and close. You can raise and lower your spoiler right here. Uh, you got your parking sensors and you got your blind spot monitoring, which you can disable if you would like to for some reason. Uh, down here, you have your trunk release. And over here, you have your hood release with your emergency brake down there. But anyway, as we continue over here, you have uh, both heated and cooled seats. That's a great feature uh, down here in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. But anyway, we come up top over here, very cool design for the temperature controls. You just literally press the button over here. It's a nice little touch sensor. Uh, it's a little bit dated, uh, a lot of people may say, but it's definitely functional. It has automatic climate controls. Uh, it's very nicely illuminated and these power controls and uh, tuning controls definitely feel like a very high quality material. I'm not quite sure what material this is, but it definitely feels extremely high quality. And as mentioned, this vehicle does have a Mark Levinson sound system. Uh, but up top, you have your infotainment display. It's not a touch screen, unfortunately. Uh, it is controlled through this little touch pad. Uh, so as you will touch this pad, you can see all of your settings over here, but you can get out of your GPS if you would like, and you have your 
whole display. So you have, you can control your climate, you can control your navigation, you control your radio, media settings, phone settings, you control your overall setup. Uh, but we're not gonna mess around with it too much. Uh, we'll return to the nav. So over here you have your gear selector right next to your drive mode selector. So along with your drive modes, you have Eco, Normal, uh, Sport S, and Sport Plus. So nice drive modes, you also have torque vectorings. So with your torque vectoring, your settings are slalom, you have track, and you have standard. So we're gonna leave it in standard for now, but it's really nice that you have all this adjustability. You can turn off your traction control right here and you have your snow mode, which will change your gear ratios, not ratios, but it's just gonna keep you in a higher gear to limit your overall torque. But uh, continuing over here, you have two nice cup holders. They are rubberized. And down here you have very nice storage capabilities in this center console. It's a little bit cluttered. I'm not gonna go into it too much, but it's very, very soft. It's gonna be really, really comfortable to rest your elbow on here. And you can fit a lot of stuff in this console. Uh, coming along over here, you have more carbon fiber trim uh, with this glove box. So uh, let's pop this glove box open and see what's inside. So to open the glove box, you push this button and you have your glove box. So it's damped, it's not lined with felt unfortunately, uh, but it'll fit all the stuff you would need. But that's about it for the front seat on this Lexus RCF. So let's hop in the back seat and see how much space is offered back there seating behind my seat settings. Okay, so to get into the back seat on this RCF, you just pull this latch over here uh, you just kind of duck underneath the seat belt and take a seat in the back seat of this RCF. So first thing I notice is surprising legroom, guys. So sitting behind my seat setting, oh, it's it's coming back, never mind. But even behind my seat settings, my knees are starting to touch. But I do have a decent amount of space. My head's also starting to hit the ceiling. That's unfortunate. But for smaller passengers, this is definitely definitely usable. Um, you do have vents back here. That's also surprising for a two-door sports car. Uh, continuing, you also have cup holders, so you're not gonna have a middle seat, uh, but that's expected. It's surprising that you have a seat in here uh, at all. Uh, if you jab your hands in this center console, uh, you can also have a nice armrest over here right in front of your cup holders. So all in all, very impressive. You can also close your cup holders with a nice F illuminated cover. But anyway, let's shut this thing up. But that's about it for the back seat on this RCF. So before we take this car for a drive, let's just check out the trunk. Okay, so to step into the trunk, you simply press the button and you can check out the trunk space. So compared to most sports cars, you have an absolutely massive opening. So the opening here is comparable to most sedans and the overall trunk space is very, very impressive. So very like good depth. You have about, uh, I guess, five inches of depth. So your stuff's not gonna fly around as much as it normally would. You got a really nice subwoofer up there too. So this Mark Levinson sound system, I'm telling you guys, it is incredible. Uh, but overall, super impressed with the trunk in this vehicle. Uh, you have a ton of storage capabilities with an absolutely massive opening. And the seat does come down with a nice pass through. So overall, very impressive. But that's about it guys for this uh, 2016 Lexus RCF. Uh, let's take this car out for a drive and see how it overall performs. All right guys, that's about everything there is with the interior and exterior of this 2016 Lexus RCF. Uh, so let's take this car out for a drive and see how she really performs. Okay, so my first impressions are the throttle is extremely responsive. So as soon as you dip into the gas pedal, you definitely have an immediate, an immediate surge of torque. And of course, this exhaust sounds absolutely incredible. And if I didn't mention yet, this exhaust uh, does have valves, so you can shut the valves and it does become significantly quieter. Okay, so stepping onto this little two-lane highway, uh, we'll dip into it a little bit, step on the gas a little bit less than halfway and see how this vehicle can accelerate. So it's not going to be as, uh, I guess, torquey in the low end uh, as, like, I guess, the vehicles in the American segment. But as this engine revs up, you, you can definitely feel that it's get, it's ready to go. So when you completely when you compare them like this to the American muscle competition, it's going to be similarly accelerating. Uh, but the feeling that you're going to get in a car like this is going to be more thrilling with its gradual buildup of its power. But just barely stepping on the gas, going to about 2,000 uh, 2, RPM. Uh, the car definitely accelerates very well. Um, nothing to complain about overall. All right, so now that we're in Sport Plus, uh, the gears definitely don't go into their overdrive settings. It's gonna hold you in the lower gear, which is nice for sporty driving. And uh, as mentioned, this car definitely has active steering. It has active dampers as well. So it's gonna be really, really nice in the Sport Plus setting. Uh, so let's dip into a little bit. You guys can hear that exhaust. It sounds really good. And the steering definitely stiffens up as well. Uh, but let's hit this turn at a little bit too fast speed and see how this vehicle can handle. So, very good grip. This 
car has a ton of capabilities, guys, so you can hit turns like this at much faster speeds than I just did. I'm not going to, of course, but if you own this vehicle, just know that this car is extremely, extremely capable. All right, guys, when we turn around now, we're gonna try out these paddle shifters and see how this vehicle can accelerate in manual mode. And as I mentioned, the steering definitely stiffens up in Sport Plus. Okay, second gears, step in a little bit. Guys, this thing flies, and the gear shifts are instant. This transmission is very, very impressive, guys. So, it's definitely comparable to the new 10 speeds. Uh, this ZF8 speed transmission, it has extremely high praise. It's in a lot of a lot of serious sports cars, so definitely nothing to complain about when it comes to the transmission. And this turn-in, it's super sharp. As soon as you even think about turning the steering wheel, the car immediately starts to change direction. So, very impressive. Check out the downshifts. I hope you guys can hear that. Sounds really good. All right, guys. So we're got, we're coming onto this highway. Let's put it into second gear and do a pull. So ready, second gear. Woo! And it picks up in the higher RPMs. Wow! And it gets it gets to really high speeds really quickly, guys. This car is seriously seriously fast. Uh, but for, from an acceleration standpoint, that's about it. Uh, we're gonna hit one more turn at a little bit fast speed. Just give you guys a sense of this vehicle's overall performance capabilities. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys can get a sense of this vehicle's performance. It is absolutely incredible. Let's drop it down a gear. It can grip, guys. And coming out of the turn, this car is fun. <laughs> it definitely puts you in your seat quite a bit. Uh, but let's get it out of manual mode. Just calm down a little bit. Um, so overall, I'm in, I'm absolutely astonished with this vehicle. Uh, to have this level of performance matched with this level of luxury and still keeping the price tag relatively low, um, I don't see how you can beat this car. Uh, this vehicle competes with seriously, seriously expensive vehicles. So this vehicle competes with vehicles like the M4 and uh, C63, and so it's not going to have quite as much overall power, uh, but it is going to be undercutting their cost by quite a bit. And uh, you have to also consider this vehicle does weigh a little bit less than those vehicles, so it's going to be a little bit more nimble. Uh, you're not compromising handling with this vehicle. You're not compromising really performance because for daily driving, you have all the power you could ever need. And the sound of this 5-liter V8, uh, the vehicles from the German competition with their turbocharged engines, even Mercedes with their turbocharged V8 engines, they can't compete with this naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 engine sound. Um, I understand that Mercedes engines do sound pretty good, but they don't sound this good. Uh, so all in all, extremely impressed with this car. You can use the back seat. That's probably my most impressive part of this car altogether. To have a vehicle like this small, this nimble, and this like fun to drive and still have a usable back seat for somebody that's six feet tall. Uh, super impressive overall. Uh, so all in all, um, I'd like to thank uh, my friend Ethan uh, for letting me drive this car and overall review it. He's a great guy. Uh, this car is actually the first car that I've ever done a true review on. So I didn't review it originally. I just did a brief little walk around uh, at a car show like a weirdo. I just started recording somebody else's car. Uh, but it helped me get comfortable with the camera a little bit. So uh, endless gratitude for Ethan for being okay with me recording the car in the first place and then allowing me to review it today. Uh, so definitely follow him on Instagram. I'll leave his information below. Uh, so definitely check him out. This car is absolutely sick. You're going to want to check out more of this car. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, give me some suggestions on some cars you'd like to see on this channel. Um, I understand with a low subscriber count, it's not that easy to access all the cars that I potentially would want to. Uh, but just give me some suggestions and I'll do my best to get the cars for you guys. Uh, but other than that, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, uh, thank you. I have endless gratitude for you guys. Uh, but if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day.